Welcome to another fun-filled Star Trek Fleet Command video. In this short video, we're going to cover, cover hostile grinding. We're going to go ahead and start with crews that you start at the beginning of the game and advance throughout the game. Uh, for example, when you generally start the game, oftentimes you will end up getting Cadet Uhura, Cadet Scotty, and you also end up getting Chin. This crew right here is an ideal crew for taking out all ships in the game with the exception of interceptors. Keep that in mind. This exact crew can be changed by switching out Chin and putting Uncommon Talon in there. Uncommon Talon makes it so that you can attack interceptors effectively, such as swarms. So, so keep that in mind. Next crew we're going to talk about is also a common crew that you can get in the game uh, very early, and that's Next Generation LaForge, Next Generation Crusher, and then Talon. In this particular instance, you could use Talon or Chin to do your hostile, gr hostile grinding, just like in the previous example. But what this does do is it gives you two crew choices, so you can go out with two ships and maybe be working on hostile, uh, swarms and then regular hostiles. So it does give you some flexibility there. So I wanted to point that out. The next crew, however, is your bread and butter crew. It's an awesome crew for basically all hostile grinding, and that is Pike and Moreau. Now, you'll notice I don't have a third officer in here. Typically, that officer is going to be Chin for just about everything. So Pi PMC, Pike Moreau Chin, about the best hostile grinding crew in the game from up to level 51. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and look at the next crew you would probably get after you get Pike Moreau Chen, and that would be the next generation crew of Jean-Luc Picard and Beverly Crusher. So Epic Picard and rare Bever Beverly Crusher. I know there's been half a dozen Picards and Crushers and th th this and that and all these officers coming out, but these are the two that you want for hostile grinding. And again, this space right here is left open. Chen works there for all ships with the exception of interceptors and Talon works on interceptors. Also, if you have an upgraded Cath, you can use Cath to go ahead and attack interceptors just like you would Talon. However, Cath does not become really useful until tier three or tier four uh, on, on upgrading. So, one other thing I want to point out with Beverly, her ability, and we'll look at that real quick, unshakable moral code. When you fight hostiles and armadas, your armor, shield deflection, and dodge is increased by 300% of the defense of all officers on the ship. So what you're going to have to do is this defense statistic right here, this number, you're going to have to increase that. So that's called stat stacking, increasing a number to impact an officer. So wanted to point that out just so you are aware of that. Now the next set of crews that we're going to get into is the Strange New World crews, which are primarily sourced through having the Mantis ship. These are awesome ship grinding uh hostile grinding crews uh based on which officers you're using and which ship type so in this specific example the way i have this set up if regardless of what ship type i'm on using hammer and stacking health him in increases armor, shield deflection, and dodge by 1,400% of the total health when attacking survey ships. So that 
having any of these officers and Hammer will allow you to grind for a uh, faction rep hitting survey ships. One thing I do want to point out, if you use Strange New Worlds Una, it does decrease this synergy from 10 down to 7. Now let's look and see what Pike actually does. Prepare for anything. When fighting hostiles, Strange New World Pike increases your shield mitigation by 14%. So, I'm going to go ahead and go out and sw switch my officers a little bit just so we can double check and make sure that that hasn't increased. Still 14%. Okay, so 14% looks like it's the best we can do. And what that's going to do is that's going to take 14% of the damage that would have been hitting your hull is actually hitting your shields. So, awesome. Now, each one of these individual offer officers, other than Hemmer, are dependent on which type of ship they are on and what stat you have to stack. For example, Spock, his ability is only works while you're attacking interceptors from an explorer. And he is a defense stat officer. Very good officer to have when attacking swarms. Heads up. Same exact thing goes from Strange New Wards of Tega, except you won't need to stack health when attacking a hostile explorers while you are on a battleship. Now, Strange New World or Hora, same exact thing. Your stat that you want to stack on this is attack and she is great if you're on an interceptor and you're fighting battleships she is absolutely awesome at hitting borg probes with with this crew here i mean you can really hit very hard with this crew on borg probes probes and get your ship cargo filled so those right there are some of the easier ones to get assuming that you get the mantis now now we're going to go on to a harder group to get well first we're first we're just going to go to a basic board crew and then we'll go to the hard one okay so you're on your vidar you're at the beginning of the game you're trying to get trying to get as many board probes probes as possible generally speaking one of the more common crews to have is seven, eight, and nine. This crew right here can be effective at getting board probes. It's not the most effective, but it can be effective early on in the game. Once you get five of 11 though, you wanna go ahead and use five of 11 and make sure you're getting this 400 on each side so what that's going to do for you and i'm going to go i'm going to go ahead and go out and come back in just so to make sure you can see it what that's going to do is based on health that's going to give you an a thousand percent increase of shield deflection armor and dodge that's going to keep you alive longer but the also added benefit is five of eleven increases the amount of resources your ship receives from hostiles by a specific percent and that percent is based on what your actual level tier of your officer is okay so there's some board basics now the hardest crew probably to get but we've had some uh, things in the game to help you to get these officers easier would be the Janeway crew now Janeway by herself is pretty good if you add any of the Janeway crew officers here, you end up increasing her ability up to 20%. So basically how this works is the damage that would have went to your hull goes to your shields. And this is based on the number of weapons that attack you. And it, it just makes her more effective. So. Ideally, put 
three of any officers up here that you can that are Strange New World officers. Each one of these, like Balana, has some specific abilities about stacking attack and dealing with armor piercing, cheer piercing, and accuracy, where the doctor goes ahead and increases your armor shield deflection and dodge by the health on the ship. So again, more stat stacking. Tom Paris, great officer to have below deck or above deck if you don't have another officer to get that full mitigation with Janeway. So, at the start of combat against non-player hostiles or armadas, Tom Paris increases your armor, shield deflection, and dodge by 250% of defense. So, this is a defense stack officer. So, Balana is an attack stack officer. The Doctor is a health stack officer. And Tora, uh, Tom Paris is a defense stack officer. You can mix and match them. But this crew, these three right here are ideal for hostile grinding. So that is all the main crews of hostile grinding starting from where you'd start in the beginning of the game to where you advance to a Pike Moreau chin and on all the way up to the stronger crews in the game. So hopefully you find this helpful.